This is a short film back at water on a nice winter day. A bit of shooting mixed in with another visit to the kitchens to see what delights the lovely Christine has cooked up for us. Yeah, we're in the kitchens at uh, Water Priory this morning. We've been in before, but Christine's told me about this new game sausage that she's, uh, she's made today for everybody to sample. Morning, Christine. Good morning. I know you're busy, but very quickly, what's this made of, this sausage? Um, we have um, partridge, pheasant and venison in them, and we do them with a sage and onion uh, seasoning. Yeah, looks lovely anyway. And it's I know. just pure meat. What? We tried some last week, that was just yeah. well, that was just partridge and uh, pheasant mix, yes. wasn't it? Yeah. yeah. Can't wait to try these these anyway. Got venison, in too. venison, partridge, and pheasant, all in one sausage. They were used in Romania to have huge, huge uh, stacks. Okay, five minutes and we're going, chaps. Thank okay. you. We're going to try these all day. Oh, yeah, I've heard they're quite uh, popular. On grouse. These yeah. grouse, five and a half. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We're just going to try them on some uh, partridge and pheasant. Okay. I've already tried them, I don't know what they like, but. We're going to film them today okay, and uh, just show go. people what they like. Right, no problem, I'll get you sorted out. Yeah. Are you still? Lovely little drive to start with, and there'll be some, some absolute stonking pheasants on here and some very good partridge. It's a lovely crisp morning, very sharp, ideal shooting day, really. There's a bit of uh, Sunshine, but Frank's managed to tuck us under this uh, this hill, this bank, in to get us out of the sun. So let's see what happens. In the film, I have one of my pals, Alan Carr from Lincolnshire. I had coached Alan for a couple of months previous to this day. As you will see, this tuition has paid off. Even with the pressure of the camera on him, he kills some magnificent birds. He was using some Dark Storm 36 gram fours that I had given him to try. The moral of this story is have a bit of practice with a notable coach before tackling these difficult birds. It is only fair on you and your quarry. What a fantastic drive that was. Unbelievable. It's very rare you come to a place that's got as many birds as this left. It's, everything's starting to thin out a bit everywhere else, but this just gets better and better. I say you shot very well there, mate. Yeah, yeah. I'd... Um, Had they got a bit of a curl on down there? There's a lot of birds on that top curling, but the big tall ones over the top, I was doing them no problem at all. Yeah, yeah. I, was, I managed to do some behind the gun next to me. Did you? I uh, had another couple of go at them. Yeah, finish it. at them and I'm like, absolutely yeah. like, right in well, the this face, is, front end of them. This is what you've got to do. You got if, if, if there's any pricking and warning going on, this I always tell people, mate, if they're capable of shooting them, make sure they finish them off yeah. at the back of other yeah. people if they don't yeah. follow through with themselves. Yeah. Well done, mate. It's very yeah. important, that is. It is, yeah.
still continuing with these. Uh, we've killed some nice birds with them. A little 33 gram, five and a half grouse. Uh, we're on uh, walking gun now on Avenue and this is the, the Supremo drive. Very, very testing. Very difficult birds. But uh, we'll give them a try on here anyway. You will see in this clip, I am taking some long crosses up the banking, but I am making sure that I have plenty of sky to shoot against. This is very important, as there could be beaters still flanking in on the hillside in front. Also, you will see me clip a long crossing partridge. Unfortunately, I missed it over the top with my second shot. This resulted in a prick bird. Because I was walking gun, there was nobody to help finish it off. This is where a good picking up team is essential. The bird was retrieved in a matter of minutes, thus saving any further suffering. Partridge and pheasant and venison done with uh, the seat in stuffing on top and then in a hot water pastry. Very tasty, it is tasty. It just, just shows you what you know. What, what all what you've told me over the years, it's paying off now. Yeah, well, it's all about judge it, speed at bird, and yeah. be able to judge the item as well. Really, not going beyond your, well any, by the ballistic capabilities. Yeah, if you stick within range, I mean, you shot some, you've shot some 60, 70 yards oh, today. Gosh, Un yeah. Unbelievable. Yeah, but it's all about keeping that foot moving. Yeah. You know. I think what you need to do. You, you need to make sure your foot works right, but you need to concentrate. It's like Rachel said, you need to concentrate on one bird. Yeah. You know, when you get them big flashes, it. it, it's no good. No. You've got to concentrate on that one bird, dot yeah. it out, move to yeah. the next one. Yeah. That's what yeah. you need to do. That's what you got to do. And, well, as Frank, as Frank said, well shot, mate. Yeah, yeah you shot some corkers yeah, superb. here. Not back for a Lincolnshire poacher. No. <laughs> <laughs> superb. <laughs> Alan Carr shot very well today, which goes to show that just by having a few refresher lessons, it helped him have a better day in the field. Mm -hmm. 